Hello! Welcome to another video of me playing Kerbal Space Program 2. Now this is an interesting ship that I have constructed here. It's an unmanned probe and this is a giant uh, container of, I think it was hydrogen? To operate this gigantic nuclear engine because this is some of the new technology in 2.0. You could get that kind of thing with mods in the first one, but you couldn't get it in the vanilla game. Uh, at least I don't think so. I don't, not, not at the time I was playing it. Maybe they added it in a future patch or something, but no, but it's new to 2.0 as far as I know, and it was the kind of technology I needed to fly to Jewel. That is Jewel over there. That green gas giant. Jewel was always one of my favorites in the original game. It's a beautiful gas giant. You can't actually land on it because it doesn't have any land. It's just gas. But it has a lot of cool planets or moons, I guess, in orbit of it. And I really wanted to come out here and see what it looks like in the sequel with a better graphics and everything. So here I am, and we're going to fly. We're going to maneuver a little closer to it so we can get a better look. All right, we're quite a bit closer now. And we are going to get even closer still. So our periaps is going to be 14,800 kilometers right now. Let's uh let's see if we can Let's see if we can decelerate even more. I love these graphics. That's so beautiful. That engine bloom. Boy, the periaps is not dropping very quickly. But that might also be because I'm so close to the periaps. Oh, that's a good, yep, yep. I'm thinking I'm changing my apoaps my furthest point from the planet, but my peri- I can't change my periaps when I'm this close to the periaps. Ah, that is, uh, that's what my problem there is. Okay, so we're gonna fly over here, <laughs> time warp to that point. Whee! And now I'm kind of far away from it, but, oh man, I gotta rotate all over again. Because I gotta flip around and go the other direction now. To be burning in the opposite direction. Okay, so the periapse is the closest point that you are in an orbit to the thing you're orbiting around, in this case the planet Jewel. The apoapse is the furthest point away that you are from it, because you're almost never, maybe literally never, in a perfect circle. It's always going to be some kind of ovally type shape, so there's always going to be a time when you're closer to the Thing you're orbiting and a time when you're furthest away from it so and if you want to change one of those points like if you want the the farthest point that you are away from the planet to get closer to the planet or if you want to make it even further more further away from the planet the time to change that point is when you're at the opposite end of the the orbit or the the circle or the oval or wh whatever you want to call it so if you want to change if you want to get closer to the planet, you have to be at your furthest point away from the planet and slow down to effectively change your orbit. That's one of those weird orbital mechanic things that I believe is a real thing that actual NASA and, and SpaceX and astronauts have to learn about how to fly their ships in real life. And if you want to be good at Kerbal Space Program, you have to learn at least the very basic fundamentals of that because this game simulates real-life physics as well as a video game can. All right, we're going to accelerate. And now my periaps is dropping very quickly. I say accelerate. Technically, we're decelerating. But I'm burning the engines. And we're slowing this down, which means we're going to get closer to Jewel. The next time we go around it. Ooh, there's Lathe. That's a beautiful moon. 
I want to go there at some point, but right now I want to get I want to get close to Jewel. I want to get a I want to get a really good look at Jewel. This still says my periaps is 6,800 kilometers, which sounds really close. It doesn't look that close on the map. Right, let's time warp to right there. How close are we now? We're quite a bit closer. Look at that! Oh my goodness, look at that. That's looking pretty good. It's too bad I didn't mean to be in a polar orbit. I'm going <laughs> I'm going uh, from the North Pole to the South Pole and back again of the planet, which is not what I intended, but it does mean that we can see the point where the, the light stops and, the, and we can see the dark side and the light side uh, all at once, which is kind of interesting. We're right on that horizon. Let's go ahead and go back to the Apple apps and we're gonna we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna we're gonna get even closer. To be honest, I think I might just go ahead and crash into the atmosphere. I might just go ahead and fly into the atmosphere of Jewel and see what that looks like. That will destroy the probe in the process. But I wonder what it looks like as we're descending through the layers of gas in this gas giant. I think that could be a lot of fun. And we can do that. We have plenty of fuel to slow ourselves down so much. Ooh. What's interesting here is we're going to have an intercept with Lathe as well. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, I think... If I time warp to right here... Whoa, what happened? Oh, phooey, that messed up. I think the time warp got confused when I entered into Lathe's uh, sphere of influence. Ah, oh, phooey, I done screwed up. Oh, well, let's go back to the original plan of trying to burn down, burn our engines and uh, crash into Jewel, because that'll be fun to look at. try to bring us down on this side where we'll have some sunlight. I want to go in where it's bright enough that we can see. There we go. You're gonna crash, you're gonna crash! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark! I know! That's my plan. I'm crashing on purpose for science! We could go in at, like, the North Pole there, see what the North Pole looks like. That might be interesting. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to cut the engines. All right. For science, everybody. Turn off all the uh, controls, and we're just going to let it... We're just going to let it fall in. I'm going to accelerate time. I don't want to accelerate time too much, or it'll just blink in the blink of an eye. It'll all be over. There we go. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness, slowing down a little bit. Oh, suddenly it got a lot less good looking. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. That looks really nice. That looks really good. And these graphics are on medium, so it would look even better if I had higher graphics. But this is this is pretty cool. It's actually running really well this time too. Let's accelerate a little more. Oh yeah, bring up my instruments again. Okay, now we're in real time. Oh, it's moving around on its own. I wonder why it's doing that. We must be in just a little bit of the outer atmosphere, I guess. Oh, well, it doesn't look like it, but something is happening. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, they, we, we disintegrated! 
The whole thing burned up. Oh, we didn't. It didn't look like we were in the atmosphere. It looked like we were still up above it, but I guess we were. Let's see. Okay, I reloaded from before the crash, and I tried to change all my graphic settings to be higher. So we'll see if that affects what we see as we go down. Now, I've altered the, the course a little bit, so what we should be doing this time is skimming down really close, and then the gravity will bring us in and we'll, we'll crash for sure. So let's go ahead and get another... We'll take another pass at crashing into Jewel. Now, they've actually done a lot of... They, they have crashed probes into uh, Jupiter and stuff in real life. So this uh, this idea of sending the probe all the way out here only to have it be destroyed is is not unrealistic. In real life, you can get some science on its way down to what the uh, gas is made out of and everything the atmosphere is made out of. And in this case, I just want to see if we can see under the outer kind of shell and and if it actually has gas floating around that we can get a good look at. It may not, and it may be something they add later. The days, the game's only been out for like two days, so this is very early access. So it might just be that right now this is all you can see, but for the sake of science, I want to get a closer look. It's still, even if it isn't actually gas that you can fly around in inside the atmosphere, which is a lot to ask, I suppose, it's still a beautiful planet. And it was a lot of fun building a nuclear-powered, hydrogen-fueled, weird-looking spaceship to fly all the way out here and uh, and look at it. It was it was hard getting a ship that would actually take off and, and get here because this big, giant ball of hydrogen fuel on the top of the rocket was so top-heavy, I had a lot of rockets tip over sideways and crash and explode. Which maybe I should have recorded because it would have been funny, but it was, seriously, it was hours of failure before I finally got to this point. Oh man, this looks really cool though. I really like this. Look at that! The sun is so teeny tiny now because Jewel is way further away from the sun than Kerbal is. It's way past, it's way past Duna, which is the Mars-like um, planet. Oh, wow. I don't know if it's getting the music, but... This is actually very kind of peaceful and serene. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! I don't see the ship anymore! What happened? <laughs> oh, no, I lost it! I was just saying it was so pretty and serene, and now... Did we blow up? Where did it go? Oh, my gosh, we're just... We're alone! We're nothing but a consciousness now. The ship is gone. It's just it's just our soul floating through the atmosphere of Jewel. I should probably turn on. Yep, there we go. When you don't have the, the HUD up, you don't see when the ship explodes. So we did explode. We, we have crashed into Jewel. I was kind of hoping it would look better. I was hoping we'd see explosions or I was hoping we'd see get inside the atmosphere and just be the screen covered in green from the gas so that's unfortunate that might happen later on though and it might be it might be something they put into the regular game at some point in the future it might be something that gets modded in the mods for the first one made it so much better the, the mods were fantastic and i'm sure they'll get to that in, in number two in time anyway this was a lot of fun even though it ended in in the ship exploding that was on purpose this time it was, this was on purpose, and it's, it feels very different when you blow up the ship on purpose versus when it's an accident. Anyway, thank you for watching me explore Jewel. I plan on making more videos as I explore more planets in this game. Kerbal Space Program 2, Early Access. I'm loving it. Thank you, and good night.